I think most of us are really clear on what a talented, gifted um, young man he is in terms of his athletic ability, and we've really gotten to see that and celebrate that with him over the last four years. Well, Keyshawn Vaughn's a great young man. I wish him the best of luck in the future. I'm sure we'll see him one of these days playing on Sunday night football or even Monday night football. You hardly ever get a chance to coach someone that good, you know. When you see them play, you really don't know how good they are until you go back and watch some of the film. I'm glad I got to say I seen Keyshawn Vaughn play. Yeah, it's going to be harder to play him. If you got one guy that can can take a pound and, and throw the ball 20, 30 times, or, 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 he, or he can take the distance in one play, it's harder or he can catch out the backfield. It's harder to find that guy like that. Pleasure. Watch Keyshawn emerge as an athlete. He's a blessing to have. Um, you rarely run into backs like that. I've coached uh, 11 years, be 12 years, and he's the best back I've ever coached. Uh, from, from sixth grade on up, we used to always want to be faster than one another, want to be better than one another. He's been an excellent firebird, and uh, we'll definitely miss him in the years to come. Keyshawn Lamont Vaughn was born May the 4th, 1997, in Nashville, Tennessee. Even at a young age, he showed extraordinary athleticism. Football was the first sport that I actually played around the age of five. My dad take credit for it, but I don't honestly think it was him that taught me the game. I just think I picked it up. Ghost hands. He pushes you to do stuff that Sometimes you believe you can't do. But with Keyshawn, he was always one of the first in the weight room, one of the last. And once you get a kid to start working on their own, then you know they're going to be something special. Terrence is a, is a motivator. Like, he's going to push you to do things that you believe you can't do sometimes. Like him telling you that you can't do it is what's going to drive you to do it even more. And when the coach Woods, Man, that's my boy right there. Keyshawn was just perfect for the offense that we uh, decided to put in. Me and Coach Harris sat down with some coaches at some different colleges and we put together the offense and we just knew he was going to flourish in it. We knew it. Um, Coach Benetti, man, he helped, he helped everybody, man. It's like anybody who needs to get in college, he'll help them. Anything, if you need something outside of football, he'll help you. At the same time, he wants you to strive to be better and better than anybody else that you know like honestly i got the best line in the country to me uh you got carlos johnson my junior year donaldson tj rusty big a and Jalen. it wouldn't be a keyshawn Vaughn without my big guys in front Mr. stewart really helped me better with my communication skills and i'm very thankful for it I think one of the um, fun things that I've gotten to do this year is as he's gotten so much of this media attention, uh, he has come to me specifically uh, to talk to him about sort of what to say when the cameras are rolling. And he and I have gotten to have great conversations about how important it is to be able to articulate yourself really well. Mr. Caldwell, his first year here was my 10th grade year. He asked me that I know Barry Sanders. I told him I knew Barry Sanders, but I've never watched this film before. So one day he brought a Barry Sanders highlight disc. He gave it to me and told me to watch it. I went home and watched it, recognized that Barry Sanders is the greatest running back in NFL history. I got an audio production my 10th grade year. You know, we had to make beats, but I wanted to rap. When he was a young star in the eighth grade, he used to do his little studio in his room, in his closet, and sing. Me and my boy Nasir, Nas and Keys, and little brothers, you know. Uh, my big brother, Dominique Charter, he sung, lift every voice and sang. That was a big production right there. I came in my freshman year with a second string running back. Um, he came in as a freshman and he was one of the top players on the team as a freshman. I broke my ankle my freshman year, last game of the season. Another thing, when he broke his ankle, we all had jokes about him. But he, he grew from all that. He grew from all that. People didn't, people slept on him his first and second year. And we could tell it was bad when he went down. 
But he came back his sophomore year. He, he worked hard the offseason. Miss Sheena, our trainer, she did a wonderful job of, of rehabbing him and uh, getting him back. And he came back for his sophomore season. If he wouldn't have gotten hurt and broke his foot in the, in the quarterfinals, we probably would have won that game and went on probably had a chance to stay that year. He kept rehabbing and kept working. He started working with uh, Coach Reynolds with track. And that junior year, man, he just, he just blew up. Track held me a lot. I remember the first game I seen him play. I was starting center, uh, Cane Ridge High School. He caught a flare, and the dude woke him up. I always tell him, I always tell him that changed his career. But that hit right there was probably what changed it for him. My senior year, I was Mr. Football, Gatorade Player of the Year, Human Award of the Year. All USA, second team, All American, All State, All City, All City MVP. My biggest game was my junior year against Station Camp, where I had 343 yards and six touchdowns. Would you believe I was on my way home one cold Saturday morning, stopping by my favorite restaurant, Mickey to order my favorite meal, a Happy Meal? And lo and behold, what do I see? I said, what are you doing here? I just saw you run six touchdowns and run for over 340 yards. And now, within a couple of hours, you had to drive through one at McDonald's. Then I will never forget what Keyshawn said. He said, I work here to make some extra money for the family to help my mother pay the bills. To be the most sought after high school football player in the state of Tennessee. Zillion colleges running after you. Six touchdowns, 340 yards. And the next couple of hours, saying may I help you in the draft through the winter just to help mom pay bills. That's character. Working at McDonald's has taught me self-discipline and how to control myself and not get mad because somebody else is mad and don't let nobody else bring me down. In a couple of weeks, I'm quitting McDonald's because I'd be going out to college. So I just work at McDonald's, keep money in my pocket, and help my mom pay for my car insurance. Despite the expert guidance he has received from his coaches, Keyshawn has said the most inspirational figure in his life has been his mother, Tamika Dennis. She pushed me to be good in the classroom, make good grades, because if my grades ain't straight, she not letting me play football. So her pushing me in the classroom to get good grades is making me want to play on the field even more. Sat and talked with my mom, and I nailed it down to Illinois in West Virginia. I went to the University of Illinois because it was the best fit for me. My family can get to the games. Then I, honest, then I got a teammate going up there with me, Cameron Watkins. Way, way back, uh, fifth grade is when we first met. I've been knowing Cam for, for about eight years now. We look out for each other. We correct each other when we're wrong and we have each other back. After football, I plan on going into the field of sports management. I'm not a big fan of Illinois or Big Ten football. I'm not a fan of people who don't wear the real color orange. So it's always going to be Rocky Top, always. But I will root on Illinois when I see that you're playing out there. Good luck in the future. We'll definitely miss him in the years to come. Yeah. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's. Yeah. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's Five birds, let's Five birds, five birds, five birds, let's get out. Yeah. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's Yeah. 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 Five birds, five birds, five birds, let's get out. Five birds, five birds, five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, five birds, 
five friends, let's get out. First play from scrimmage, six points, that was easy. 75 yards, the red mamba, that was keys. And now let's turn up on D. Three and out, go for the glory. Team full of headhunters, Don Terry, yo, and Corey. Toe ball, he coming with it. Yo, ball, he going get it. Both sides of the ball. Lil' bro right there, he serious. And can't forget about Lil' Jimmy. He for real, then got a cannon. Fourth and long, Lil' Post route. That's Nazi ball, don't panic. Let's go, Woods, get the play Let's in. Go. So Hash can send the signal. Trey Wright, main power strong. That old line is vicious. They coming, man, with a vengeance. It's real down in them trenches. Keep your mouth closed, quit commentating if you sitting off in them benches. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, five birds, five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, five birds, five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, five birds, five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out. Five birds, let's get out.